uh, one of us said, ah, Buhari, our president is not good. He's going to do this thing. This thing will happen. We use eight years. He uses eight years, so you didn't cast him out. Now we now have a president elect, our wonderful president elect, Baba uh, Bat Tinubu. Now most of you are saying, no, 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 no. He has been elected. You can't cast him out. This is not political in nature. I'm only saying that there are some people you cannot cast out. You can only pray for God to give you favor before them. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, world. Anyway, you are watching me. How was the night? I hope you had a splendid night. Ah. Ah. Submit your assignment of yesterday. I actually saw some people, I saw your assignment. Uh, don't worry, we'll soon do tests. Good morning. Uh, I want to talk about something very important this morning. You see, it's about this uh, text of the Bible that says, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You see, many people in the body of Christ, we have given ourselves a lot of problems and we have found ourselves in several circumstances by a reason of the understanding that we do not have. We have found ourselves in several circumstances by a reason of the understanding that we do not have. You do not read the Bible like biology and believe that we understand just the way you understand the letters. You, that's, that book was written by spirits, so therefore, it will take another spirit to understand, to give you understanding of what is in that book. Uh, that verse, to many people, means that uh, when you see anybody wearing earring and trousers, don't shake them, don't laugh with them. You meet them in your workplace. Good morning, Shade. Morning. Why are you greeting her like that? Ah, no, that was his business. I don't call you because I don't believe her. So, ah. they tell you, please go and meet uh, brother Tunji and collect the proposal. But because brother Tunji wear crazy jeans, say, come on, come on, brother Tunji, please. I'm asked to collect papers. Why are you frowning? Please, just wait. Can you get, can I give you? Can you give my number? My number? No, you can't. But why? Ah, I don't want to be calling you. I don't believe her. Is that the understanding that you have for that verse? Be not unequally yoked does not mean don't mix free with them. Be not unequally yoked does not mean don't greet them. Deuteronomy 22.10 says that thou shalt not yoke the ox and the donkey together. This is because if you yoke the ox and the donkey together, the, the, the land you are plowing will not be evenly plowed. So when he's talking about yoke, the word unequally yoked there means that you should not involve in something that is of you know that can that you know is 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 forever something that looks uh like boxed up for example marriage marriage is for better for worse be not unequally yoked means do not marry a non-believer why because if you marry a non-believer the devil is your father-in-law there is no way both of you will understand the fathers you have because you're a non-believer Okay, another example is, okay, this unbeliever is, maybe this man that is an unbeliever is an apostle of God, but you know, you can actually read between the lines that his apostleship can be questionable. He does some things that have to do with enchantment and fetish things. And you are an apostle of God. The Bible says, do not be yoked. Maybe now says, my brother, I want you to come and be a pastor in my ministry. It now means, don't be yoked with unbeliever that's what it means it doesn't mean that when you now see the apostle passing by the street you know you can't say good morning and even shake him so do not because many people we have lost destiny relationships at the at the impulse of that verse so don't be yoked does not mean don't greet them it doesn't mean when they rejoice don't rejoice with them it doesn't mean when they have a promotion get together and you work together in the workplace you should not go there in fact, it doesn't mean that when they have a, 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 their children wedding ceremony, it doesn't mean don't go there and don't help them and don't sleep in their house and don't even eat them. It's there. That's not what it means. So, for instance, the Bible says, I'm sending you as sheep in the midst of wolves. How do you want to deliver the message 
God sent you to them. If you don't greet them, if you don't relate with them, if you don't rejoice with them, Abba. Because I see many people, they are high like this. You greet them, morning, morning, morning. They are holy. In all manner of conversation, their walking is holy. Their lifting hands is holy. When you lift hands like this, it's unholy. It's holy. They, so they, they have so much deserted many people, hated many people because they are, their appearance does not look like what they have been taught to look like. See, there are some people you cannot cast out. In trying to misinterpret that verse, I want to advise you. Do not make an enemy with your destiny helper. Do not make an enemy with the gatekeeper. There are some people you cannot cast out. You cannot cast out Pharaoh from Egypt, for instance. Neither can you cast out... I mean, all of us said, Ah, Buhari, our president is not good. He's going to do these things. This thing will happen. We use eight years. He used his eight years, so you didn't cast him out. Now, we now have a president-elect. Our wonderful president-elect, Baba uh, Bat Tinubu now. Most of you are saying, no, 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 no. He has been elected. You can't cast him out. This is not political in nature. I'm only saying that there are some people you cannot cast out. You can only pray for God to give you favor before them. So what do I expect you to do? Be not unequally yoked. Does not mean don't make friends. Does not mean don't relate with them. Because that person wearing trousers and hearing can have a signature that can bring you to the next level of your life. That man in crazy jeans, that woman nice, that you are running away from, that you don't want to greet because it's, 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 it's personal, it's not appealing to your kind of you know, doctrine, can be the next person that needs to pass you to the next level of your life. All I'm saying this morning is seek knowledge. Let's be wise. The Bible says that we should be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We children of light, we can walk as life. Daniel was under the king of Babylon. He was not yoked with him, but he listened to his wisdom. The Bible says in Daniel 1.8, but Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's meat. He only rejected the king's meat. He didn't reject the king's wisdom. He didn't reject the king's knowledge. He didn't reject the king's patterns and concept of doing things. Daniel spent all his life in Babylon and learned from there. Thank you very much and God bless you. Uh, I want to put in the comment section that from now henceforth, by the grace of God, I receive wisdom to relate with every creature that God has made and I will not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You understand that? That by the grace of God, I receive the wisdom to relate with everyone, every creature that God has made and I will still not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Thank you. Good morning.